What's up everybody, this is Ronnie, your go-to instructor if you want to learn how to design with Canva. In today's video, I want to talk about a new feature which is photo colors in Canva. So we will have a look at photo colors, which is a new feature that allows you to create more harmonious designs in terms of colors. So without further ado, let's jump right in and create a new design. So we'll go for the presentation format, but the format doesn't really matter here. So first I want to show you how photo colors work. So for this, I will insert a bunch of different photos. I will go for my uploads actually. Okay, so let's say I want to upload this photo right here. And then I want to upload this one. And then let me find another one. Let's say, let me find something with a bunch of colors, this. Okay, now I have inserted three photos on my Canva document. All right, and let's say I click on the background. I will click on the little color icon right here. And so the first thing you will see is your document's color. Okay, and then you will see your different color palettes. These are uh, directly coming from your brand kit. So the kit that you have created in Canva, if you're a pro user or if you haven't created any brand kit, you will probably see the three or five um, generic colors generated for you. And then if you continue to scroll down here in this color section, in this color uh, menu, you will see photo colors. So we will uh, notice that there are two little icons right here, uh, kind of previewing my photos that I inserted in the document. So we see the first one right here, and then we see kind of the aquarium right here. These are basically the photos that I have inserted here. This one is not generating a photo color, probably because it's, let me add another one then. Let me add simply this thumbnail from my course and see if now I have the three photo colors. Yes, you see photo colors has inserted the, the color palettes here. So let me talk a little bit about these um, palettes that have been generated and explain what they are and what they do. So when you insert a photo into Canva, uh, Canva will automatically extract the five dominant colors from this photo. So here we can see the leaf, the banana leaf uh, design photo here. We have white, which is the dominant color. And then we have this dark green. And then we have other shades of green. For the aquatic photo right here, we have blue dominant color and then a bunch of other colors. And then for my thumbnail, we have the yellow and then the other colors. So one application for this new feature, which is very useful, is for uh, creating and working with templates. So let me get rid of this first page by creating another page, all right? So let's say I start designing based on a template. So I will go to the template library. So let me pick a template to uh, kind of illustrate what I was saying here. Okay, so we will go for this Yes, this deck, uh, this deck of templates right here. So I will insert the first page. I will insert a couple of pages like this. Yep. I will insert this one. Insert this one. All right, so I have enough pages. And what I want to show you now, you see this is a video, but I could probably replace it for a, uh, those are all videos, so I just, I guess Canva is trying to show you that you can insert video in your media, but it works with photos. Uh, so let me just replace these by photos. I will find photos of animals. Animals. Okay, and I will filter these photos to give them a specific color theme. So I will go for green. And I'm looking for something that is very contrasting with this template because I want to show you that sometimes you use a Canva template and it looks beautiful, but that is because the, the photos that, that are being used in this specific template have been carefully selected to match the rest of the template, right? So what happens when you start changing that, when you start inserting different media, um, and especially if you adjust that to have no filter, no transparency, so I'll bring my transparency back to 100. Uh, and the same thing for all of these right here. 
But so what happened when you start inserting these other media that are not like perfectly designed for your template? Uh, well, the, the template and the overall design kind of looks all over the place. See, it doesn't match with the rest of the colors anymore because you have basically used your own photos. So the purpose of uh, this new feature, which is photo colors, is to avoid exactly that. So when you click on the photo and then you scroll down, you can go and fetch a color from your um, from your color from your color palette right here and so you can now easily harmonize your designs for example this one these are gradients so the gradient i could i could go back here and just fetch some colors from the color palette uh, to create something nice and that will match with the rest of my images right so again just uh, going back scrolling down to photo colors and just adding you see all of a sudden, like everything comes back to life, come back to this harmony because we've been using the colors uh, from the photos. So this is how photo colors work. Uh, and then there's one more thing I want to tell you about this is that the reason why Canva decided to go with uh, this kind of mechanisms to kind of surface the dominant colors of your photos and uh, versus going for a color picker is that a color picker would not really simplify your life as a user. I have a color picker here, uh, so it's it's a Chrome extension, so I, it's basically inserted into my, my Chrome uh, here. So if I click on it, I can pick a color, but then I have to manually choose the color from this overall design. And, and though I, I kind of think, okay, this green could do it, I grab the green, but I'm not 100% sure this is the one of the dominant colors because I could have clicked like two millimeters to the left, two millimeters to the right, the green would have a different shade of green while Canva is using a very like powerful algorithm that our de developers have developed to really make sure these are the five dominant colors in your design. So basically, we are reducing the different choices we offer you and presenting you with only five choices, guaranteeing you that these are the dominant colors in your design. So we are making your life easier by doing it this way. So that's what I wanted to show you, uh, how to use photo colors, pretty cool, to make sure your designs are always um, in the right tones, uh, always uh, harmonious and go well together with your photos. I hope this video was useful and uh, as always you can watch another video from here or you can subscribe to the channel if you're watching us on YouTube and for the rest I wish you a very good day and I will see you in the next video.